Right, next bass lesson. Um, this one's going to be relatively short because it's about pull-offs, which um, pretty much are the reverse of hammer-ons now. You've got hammer-ons, which are... sort of thing. Now, pull-offs are hammer-offs backwards. So you've got... So basically you start with the higher note and pull the finger off to reveal the lower note. So say if you play something, that would be hammer on pull off, hammer on pull off, hammer on pull off, back like over and over and over again. So what you want to start practicing instead of doing this sort of thing with hammer ons, do the same with pull offs. So you've got. You see what I mean? So. Pull-offs are somewhat more difficult because it's difficult to keep other strings quiet because with a hammer-on you're actually putting fingers onto the fretboard with, with a pull-off you're actually taking fingers off so it's actually a bit more difficult trying to keep the strings quiet so bear that in mind, make sure you practice it a lot so if you if you use hammer-offs and pull-ons um, the sort of things you can... Uh, oh, it's my phone vibrating um, the sort of thing you'd be able to do, say for instance if I, if I play with my right hand one note on every string. Right now, with hammer off some pull ons, I can suddenly make that. Right, and that's only using my left hand, using hammer off some pull ons. And I've still only played four notes, one on each string with my right hand. But with the hammer off some pull ons, or hammer ons and pull offs, even. See what I mean? So, a very useful tool. So, that was uh, you start with that. So, you're doing a hammer on, you're doing a hammer on, a pull off, and then you hammer on from the top top string, you hammer hammering on to the next string down. So, it's so it's. to play that with my right hand. So really I could have just played one note. Doesn't exactly have the same sound if you... There you go.